Rasta music. Welcome to Search for the Slop. We're currently waiting to board our ferry across to a little island which gets some of the most rainfall in Europe but is also home to some of the world's very best mountain bikers who are going to show us their local trails. Should be in for an absolutely beautiful time and we should also be guaranteed slop. <coughs> Only negative at the moment is that I've got a stitched up shin which is a bit infected but hopefully my leg won't fall off. So let's head for the rain. Top of the morning, we are here in beautiful Northern Ireland. This is going to be wild boys. The search for slop has been found. snacks right there mm. in my bag and my hands don't work Jim. not the main pocket but the you next one brought some special irish snacks out oh <laughs> it doesn't go away. Really. It's actual flooded. It's still flooded. We've got a bit of a leak on our hands here. Yeah, well, the boys in the calf are saying we're stranded. Right. The roads are shut. They're blocked, flooded. Oh. Better message Keelan. Oh, yeah. See how he's getting on. Well lads, um, yeah, I'm completely stranded here at the minute. These have been the worst floods in your area's ever seen, the canal and stuff's bust, so. So it would seem that Keelan is stuck not here and we are stuck here, but he's given us some directions to the trail, so we're gonna go and have a swim, basically. <laughs> The game we're playing today is bike track or river. <laughs> what do you think this one is? I actually thought this was a bike track. But mm, I think this one might be a river. <laughs> We're still pretty flooded in place, but the forecast's looking up, so hopefully Jacob can make it tomorrow and we'll have a right old good day with him before we need to head south. We've got another flood disaster. Jacob, can he make it? Man, there's floods everywhere and I can't get around them. I've closed every road out of them. 
Ah, that is an unfortunate it's turn of events. Hot. So with Jacob unable to make it and us still flooded in place, we decided the best course of action was to put our wet kit back on and head back out on the trails. Oh, stitches out, infection gone, flooded roads reopened, things were looking good for us as we headed to Dublin. We're in beautiful Three Rock, just looking over Dublin City. This is a place where I've kind of ridden all my life. Yeah, it's some of the finest schlap up here. It is the best. <laughs> Everywhere, but it's funny because Greg makes it look really, really easy, and then you don't realize how ruthlessly nasty and slippy it is. Just so smooth, aren't you, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the smoothness. <laughs> Yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey, give it Laldi. Oh no, oh, it's not even been raining. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. It rains for me. <laughs> it's only going to be day in Three Rock without getting into some actual deep bog, so we're going to the bog. Buzzing coming from the dash, he said, just stick a note and it's a pile of trash. There's a cove on a bike, and he's in that way. There's Tony Duffy coming to watch us play. Well, go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it lally. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it lally. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it lally. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey, give it lally. I've always said, like, I ride all over the world, do whatever in races, think you're great, and you come back here and I'll put manners on you straight away. We've reached our venue, what a lovely sight. We're here to party, we'll be up all night. If you're still at home, man, you can't get Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it loudly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it loudly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy. Two waffles. Oh. Real Irish delicacy. Give it loudly!
bit of an ongoing joke about how Greg is really smooth, but he is probably one of the smoothest bike riders in the world. He makes going really fast over nasty bits of track look pretty stress-free. It's... <laughs> in 10 months and everything we get now is just a bonus as you'll see today we're very lucky I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. And I know you taste this a little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice, poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when You're here to move for empathy, there's blood in my pen Better yet with your friends and them I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you all. Fuck that. Hold up, plenty of champagne. Hold nice when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. You want a snack? We've got some nice Irish snacks. Does he want a snack? Get a hand what in there. Packet of potatoes for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. 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 Thanks, Dad.
James has had a big crash and he can't remember anything. It's actually quite worrying. Oh! Oh, oh. You alright? You alright? So you know why we're in Ireland? <laughs> you playing games with me now. No, no, you are in Ireland. <laughs> That's I've been sitting here in a daydream for a long yeah. time. And there's yeah. uh, well, a bit. I'd say since you crashed, it was about eleven minutes ago. Tree. Um, so apparently I've hit my head. Yeah, I've hit your head. I haven't remember anything yet. Head, shoulder, collar. Showing you because we didn't have a big crash. It was large. Really? Head yeah. on a tree. Yeah. Uh, we maybe. stopped filming just after that because James, pretty jovial, couldn't remember anything and was like stuck in a loop saying the same things over and over. But then he just went unconscious and blacked out. So that was not great. He is a conscious again, but he's in the hospital now and he's getting an MRI. So we'll find out soon what the story is, I guess. So hopefully it's not too serious. Well, I've been set free. That was a sore one. But I think I can, uh, I think I can see straight again and I can just about remember the day. But can I remember where Liam's part of the van? No. James eventually got out of the hospital feeling a bit tender and with doctor's orders not to ride his bike for at least the next month but he decided he could be full-time cameraman from now on, so we cracked on to our next destination, off to meet Ushino Callahan, fresh off his World Cup win. We're here at Baddy Horrors, here with a few of the boys, and uh, we're about to show you around Baddy Horrors. We've got some new tracks, and uh, it's gonna be a rare treat. Yes, yeah, some real bog. <laughs> <laughs>
that you. this is a size drop. Yeah. He was just airborne, like on a, like a shitty hundred mil hardtail. He was just in the air. <laughs> just panicked and took his hands off. Gone off this in the air. Full belly foot. Fight. No, no, never thanks, it's a lovely day. 10 out of 10. Grand old day out. I'm still feeling sore though on my head. I don't think my words are working very well today. My crack's not been great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I literally still can't remember from tree to hospital. There's about two to three hours of information missing. Did not write to SD card. No, no, no. It got shook too much. A bit like, same with the camera. Yeah. Give it a good bump, it'll not save that footage. Yeah. See you bye, 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 bye. Find yourself. Thanks very much. Later Pleasure on. as all of us. Right. Cheers now, thanks guys. Bye now. You'll have some job trying to get Ronan off the model. <laughs> <laughs> Oshin was 100% correct, so the next day we met Ronan with his moto alongside Gavin Gregg. The boys' generous hospitality was on show as they even loaned me a shot of a bike, helmet and boots for the day. Ronan hopped in the tractor to build a track in the field and we were on for the perfect day. From the rocky water saw the Hebrides Oh, this is my island, oh, this is my island From the port on east right through the mission to the end of time Store and get some riding done.
you guys. Bye bye. They are here. Yeah. <laughs> the eye contact. Martin Va is Mr. Daniel Felchigu Fort William. Is that it? And this is Michaela. Oh, and this is Michaela. <laughs> uh, but I don't know no. that in garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to everyone for watching and also a massive thanks to Acros Components. Acros are a bearing specialist and without them this film could not have happened. Myself and James use their headsets, pedals and more to keep ourselves running through the filthy disgusting conditions that this trip throws up as well as an entire winter in the Scottish Highlands. So if you're in the market for some bearing parts on your bike, you know where to look. Oh shit! This man! Oh. <laughs>